Hey guys, what's up? I got a message um, in my notifications from Daniel Mrazek where he said, would actually like to know, to see how you slapped a warden on a hippogriff with both models keeping their animations. It came to my attention now, that... uh, this comment's not really here. I don't know if he like decided he didn't want to see that, but that's absolutely something we can do. Uh, so I was just playing around with it. I made the model again. Uh, I was kind of practicing for this video. Let's, let's do it again. Uh, I'm going to close the software. So we clear out. We don't have any like open models that we don't want. They're going to make. Uh, sorry, I was clicking too many times there. So let's 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 do this. Uh, let's try to see if we can get it in three four minutes. We'll see if we can. You know how fast can we do it, right? Uh, so I think Control U fetches a unit. So we're gonna get uh, Night Elf Warden. We'll Control U again. Oh, not Windows. Uh, control U again, and we'll fetch a Hippogriff, right? Uh, for that, I need to go back to Night Elf. We should probably keep the same uh, keep the same tab there. So we've got we've got a Hippogriff now. We've got a warden, right? Uh, pretty, pretty basic, pretty simple there. Um, one trick we want to do is we want to go to the warden and let's see if we can uh, let's break out. There we go. Uh, the warden's legs here. We just probably want them to all attach to. All uh, oh, these things are all badly named. Okay, uh, I'm thinking we want them to just all link to whatever is linked to pelvis and everything below that. Four, one, three, three, two are all gone. Uh, what this is going to mean is that the warden is standing here without leg animations. That's that's good. We'll see why that's good in a moment. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to switch back to the hippogriff and we're going to do a file import from the workspace from our modified warden. We're going to bring that up. Uh, ideally we wouldn't want to have to change too much here. If you look at my sample model that I already made, uh, stand ready was used for stand. So in, in the stand animations, while well, the warden is riding here, she's doing stand ready. And then in walk, she does the warden's walk, but the, the warden's legs stand fixed in position. And really, the warden's legs look bad. Like, you wouldn't really want them to be standing straight up like that. But this is this is a three-minute model. Um, so we have, uh, we have stand on here for stand ready. And then for walk, we're going to use the warden's walk. But remember, we blanked out the warden's leg animations. So the legs won't animate, just, just the top part. And then uh, if you look at the warden's actual animations, you can see that uh, attack 2 kind of looks good from the air, but attack 1 doesn't. It's like an uppercut. So um, that was why in this in attack, we're using the warden's attack 2 to sort of be that downward swing. So it looks like she's throwing to the ground. Um, so we do that. So we go to attack 2 on here. We tell that to merge into attack. And then we could probably merge like death into death just for convenience make it look nice. Uh, so then we have the question here of what we want to get rid of. So everything to do with the legs. So this this node, I'm looking here at the parent of, of what I have selected here. And this parent to that, uh, for six of these in a row, are the legs. So we're going to wipe those out. We're going out here, these legs. We're going to wipe these out. And then we're going to say pelvis and chest are both linked to the root. So we can just take pelvis and chest and link them both to the chest of the hippogriff, which means that the warden will animate with the hippogriff's body. So she's sort of riding on it. Uh, so we do that. We, we change this link association. Uh, the other thing we didn't do, I, I got rid of the hero glow last time I did this, so we'll uncheck that. I saw that here. Um, so as you go through here, anytime any of these are empty boxes, uh, you want to fill in the empty boxes. That's what I'm looking for. So as I scroll through these, does the new references on the right-hand side ever look to appear to be empty? And it seems like maybe it's not empty because of that fix I did. So I had to do a little bit of work in here and the other time I made the model, which was really annoying. Uh, you don't actually want to do that. And then we can just leave all of these event object datas. And we'll tell it to bring in visibility from like Geoset 1 or 2 of the Hippogriff uh, so that when the Hippogriff disappears, the Warden disappears. We finish that and we see here that we have a Warden who's riding on a Hippogriff and who has those Warden animations. She has stand and she has walk where as you know, as the Warden moves, her, her cape moves. And then uh, she'll have that attack where she sort of does that, that, uh, that swing there, swinging down at, at people uh, from up above. So that's pretty good, uh, and I think that's pretty much that's pretty much how you do it right there. And then you push file save, and we would have the same model. And hopefully that's not too much more than three minutes. Uh, that's generally about how you do that. Hope you have a good day.